Now let me show you a common error. So for example, for the column chart we created, we selected 2016, 2016 estimated, and the number of new jobs. Now a common mistake is to go ahead and select the job titles, as you see, A6, A12. And then maybe hold down control, and then go over, because you say, okay, I need 2016, I need 2026, I need number of new jobs, and then I go all the way down. So in my selection, I did not select A5. And if I go now to insert and I choose the column chart, look what happens. Okay? Now, the same idea if we try to create the combo chart. Remember the combo chart? So what do we have? Number of new jobs and percent growth. So if I go back to the data and uh, I need these guys, right? But then I say, okay, I also need the job type. So I started the job titles from A6, and then I hold down Control, and I go from D5 to take the column headings. So again, in my selection here, I am not taking A5, and Excel won't like that. So if you go to the Insert again, and you are looking for the combo chart, and you go with the second selection as we did, look what happens. Another mistake is for pie charts. In a pie chart, you can only have one series of numbers. It can be laid out in a column or in a row. It doesn't matter. So I saw many times people doing this. They select something like that, and they go insert, and they are looking for the pie, and create a pie chart. If you add the data labels, you're going to see that it actually took the first series, so 2016. And this is what Excel does. But just for you to know, when you create a pie chart, you can only have one series of numbers. So in this case, although you selected two columns of numbers, Excel is going to represent in the pie chart only the first series.